what is your real name and your stage name? My name is Deji Abodadele and my stage name. What tribe are you from in Nigeria and how many DJs from Niger DJ represent your tribe? Um, I don't think Canadians are the second part of that. Um, my mom is from Lagos, my dad is from... Africa. How long have you been permanently living in the UK? Um, it's been a very long time. I'll say what is your educational background starting from your primary school? Um, obviously I completed primary school, secondary school and I graduated at South Bank University, BSc. In brevity, when and where did you start to DJ? And tell me your experience in Nigeria and outside. Um, I don't think I have any experience as a DJ in Nigeria. I started in the UK with my brother TJ Vibesman. Um, we started a sound called Mighty Roots and that was in, in the 80s, in the mid 80s. Um, we, we, we went along for a very, a very long time. And um, we did a lot of house parties, nightclubs, and um, now we're into um, music production. We've got a record label. Um, we, we do video shooting as well, and we do artist management. When you are not in the line of duty, describe your personality. Oh, very humble, very friendly, easygoing. What are the criteria of becoming a member of the Nigerian DJs? Um, firstly, that, that society doesn't exist anymore. And when it did exist, there wasn't any specific criteria. I think you just had to be a DJ and be Nigerian, really. I suppose what happened as well is they actually went for people who's kind of done things, you know, so people who are kind of known, you know, the people which, which were approached. So I think the criteria would be to be a DJ who is performing and to be of Nigerian origin. Do you think that your overall achievements in the entertainment industry qualify you to become a um, member? I think if, if I could use the word overqualified, I think um, my team, myself and my brother were, were overqualified to be part of the organization. Um, because when we attended the meetings, um, it was like people were there for, for various reasons rather than for the good or the betterment of, of the industry in itself. Um, in terms of qualification, I think we've done too much and it wasn't probably the, the right organization. How you were invited to join Niger DJ? Um, I got a phone call and I was asked to attend a meeting. Um, it was explained to me um, you know, that they want to form this association and from the explanation which I, I got, you know, it sounded very, very positive, but un unfortunately... If you were to... one of those DJs who was not called, how will it make you feel? Very happy. Very happy. One of the reasons why um, my brother never attended the meeting was... Um, after I went to a few of them, I, I didn't feel it was necessary, you know, for, for, for him to come along as the agenda wasn't what we expected it to be. I mean, he was fully aware of the situation there. Um, we, we just didn't feel like, like he should be part of it. From the beginning of the association, the selection of each member has been under strong controversy. Some claim that all members are old veterans and allies who have close personal and professional relationships be uncomplicated. Do you think the criteria of selection was fair? Um, I felt the people who decided to, to form the organization had a mission. Um, I think it was a way of saying people alleviating themselves, um, making themselves known in the business. I don't think there's a criteria per se. I just think it was um, a few people who, who was a bit of a DJ um, background who wanted to alleviate and therefore it would be a good idea to, to come amongst other people who's been in the business for much longer. So I don't think there's any, any um, um, form of selection criteria to say for you to be a member you must have done A, B, C, D. 
you know, it's just a group of people who came together to better themselves. And what the did the association set out to achieve? Um, I suppose unity amongst Nigerian DJs and to highlight them, I mean, to give them a greater exposure. Um, I don't think any of that. What would you say that the association achieved in its short time in operation? Nothing really. I mean, there isn't anything you can look back and say, you know. This is, you know, a legacy that left behind. I mean, there's nothing, as I said, you know, a few politicians benefited. What was from your Nigeria. general perception of Niger DJ? Um, initially, I thought it would be a good idea, you know, um, to kind of be there to offer support to people who might need it, and also to kind of, you know, work with with people from from Nigeria. Um, that was the reason why I got involved because that was my anticipations and um, that, that was my that was why I perceived and expected. What were the opportunities open to the association and its its member? Well, there were no opportunities open to um there were no opportunities open to the members. Um, the association could have had opportunities if people have kind of directed it in the, in, in the right way, in the appropriate way. Um, there wasn't any opportunities because they didn't even let it take off the ground, so it's almost like crashing. Who were the major players in the association? We want to call names. Um, uh, uh, everyone tried to contribute as, as much as they could, but um, I suppose certain people were more dominant than others. And for some people, the more they came and the more they realized it wasn't what they wanted to be part of, you know, they, they, they stayed, they, you know, they, they pulled themselves out a bit more. Um, I suppose um, I was one of those people, after attending a few minutes, uh, um, a few meetings, I realized it's not exactly what I'm expecting and, you know, I, I just pulled out. I don't want to call no names for, um, yes, some people were much more dominant and, you know, much more forceful than, than others. And I suppose there are people who actually wanted to, to use the organization as a platform to establish themselves or to establish their, their names. Because I was quite um, intrigued when I first went to, when I went to the first meeting. There are a few people who are meant to be Niger DJs and I've never seen them before. I, I, you know, wasn't aware that they were in the business, but, you know, hey, it was an opportunity for them and I suppose... How will you describe your performance as a member? I don't think there's any performance to describe um, as nothing major really happened. Um, so I really couldn't describe any performance none took place. I mean, it was just like meetings and people arguing and fighting in meetings and as you know, I'm a gentleman, I wouldn't take part who in activities. Who was task like that. distributed and who was responsible for what and what? Um, I really can't remember. The, the one thing that comes to mind is um, there was a Nigerian um, independence event, which I think was the only event the organization, the organization did together. And I remember Josie Ladd was in charge of decoration um, and he did a very good job. Um, as I can't remember anything else, apart from the fact that we all had to play our parts as DJs to perform on the nights. Um, um, in your own view, who was the weakest link? <laughs> I think there are quite a few weak links. Um, um, I don't think it's appropriate to mention names. Um, I wouldn't want to mention anyone's name. But they, they were Describe the people. reaction of the fans when the news of the formation of Niger DJs circulated. The reaction of the fans. Um, I could describe the react. I mean, I don't. I don't know how the fans reacted. 
because it wasn't like we had um, a press conference and it was, you know, what we, the people were told. Um, the concept sounded very okay, so I would assume that it is something people would, would, would kind of um, embrace. Um, and the response to some of the, the events we did was quite good as well. So I suppose the organization could have made good if it was directed. What were the minor disagreements that surfaced during the meeting? Um, people fighting. Well, they disagreed over a few things, but, you know, was arguments and fighting and boasting and... Um, I suppose they were quite minor, you know. <laughs> there was a lot of disagreement. about the association? Um, I suppose the meetings, it was you know, an opportunity to eat pepper soup and snails. Um, and, you know, you met a few people that you could have sensible conversations with. Um, that was, I think the, the, the highlight was with the pepper soup. Why are your dissatisfaction uh, dissatisfactions about the association? Um, just the way it was run, and because I think people um, came in, people didn't put in enough energy, and you know there was a lot of people saying what they didn't intend to do. As I said, I think a lot, quite a few people just came there to to. So I liked their personal careers rather than to better the organization as a whole. Um, I wasn't very happy about that. Why was the association dominated by males? Well, I suppose because there are no female Nigerian DJs. I well, don't know of any. Do you? Why do you think that the association committed suicide in such a short period of time? I think that's a bit of a drastic way to <laughs> commit a suicide. Um, well, obviously, anything which has got the wrong, um, if, if members don't kind of focus to do what they're meant to do, or if people are coming in and saying they're gonna do what they're not gonna do, it's, it's quite obvious that the end of that would 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 be suicide, as as you put it. Have we had the final whistle for Niger DJs or do you think it will be reformed? Oh God, I hope it will never be reformed. Um, I hope the final whistle would remain final for forever because um, just like Nigerian politics, you know, if people are not ready for something, they shouldn't um, start it. Um, there are quite a few people who came there with all all a lot of energy and a lot of positive energy and um it's absolutely not fair for the so-called poly political minded people to take advantage of these good people um i suppose every individual should highlight their skills and and develop the way you know they're able to i think that would be better because at the end of the day, we're still all Nigerians. We're still DJs. We don't have we don't have to have a group to to be able to progress. You know, you can do collaborations from time to time. I don't think you should have a. You don't have to have a group or a weekly meeting. Well, the pepper soup would be good, but you know, I I I don't think it should be formed again.